Cockleshell Bay is a town near the sea with seagulls and sunshine and sound. There are shops that sell ices and bright coloured kites that will fly from a string in your hand. There are white painted houses along the seafront and one's called the Bucket and Spade. It's where people stay and two children play with all the good friends that they've made. So meet Robin and Rosie of Cockleshell Bay. Mr Cockle was working on some papers on the dining table as Robin and Rosie came in from the garden. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Dad. Hello, you two. Mm, it's a lovely day. Yes, it is a lovely day. Mm, good. What are you doing? Oh, finishing off some plans for Mr Bolster, the builder, said Mr Cockle. And just then, Mrs Cockle came in from the kitchen. My goodness, she said. What a lovely day. Mm. What are you working on, Chris? Oh, I'm just finishing some drawings for Mr Bolster. Good morning! It was Gran Rowty who helped Mrs Cockle in the guest house. My word! Say no more, Mrs Rowty. Eh? Say nothing. I, Cockle the Mysterious, will tell you what you are going to say. Oh, 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 get on with you, Mr Cockle. No, you were going to say... Wait. Wait, it's coming to me. I see an L and an O. Ah, and a V. Yes, yes. You were going to say, it's a lovely day. Good gracious me, Mr Cockle. I was going to say that. Well, there you are then. But however did you? I <laughs> knew, because we've all said it, Gran. Oh, Helen, you have betrayed my magical secret. Oh, ho, 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 Mr. Cockle, you're not mysterious at all. <laughs> all the same, you're quite right. It is a lovely day. Yes, just the day for getting some fresh air. Oh, yes, we could make a tent and go camping. Well, I was going to say, it's just the day for a picnic. A, a picnic? picnic? Oh, oh, great! great. Mummy? Ah, don't say it, Rosie. I'm feeling mysterious again. Oh, Daddy. You were going to say, you were going to say, why is it called a picnic? Gosh, Daddy, I was. Crumbs. Are you really mysterious, Dad? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. It's just the sort of question Rosie always does ask. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, she does. Oh, 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 I suppose I yes. Do. Anyway, no more talk. If we're going to have a picnic, let's get a move on. Yes, and, and I'll tell you what, Rosie, go and see if Mr Ship would like to come. Gosh, Mummy. You can do it too. That's just what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Half an hour later, they were all outside the back door of the Bucket and Spade guest house, ready to go. All except Robin, that is. Come on, Robin. We're all ready. All right, I'm coming. Well, hurry up then. All right, Rosie, calm down, said her mother. It won't be much of a picnic if you're shouting at one another all the time. Oh, sorry, Mummy, said Rosie, but he's so slow. <sighs> I'm not slow, <laughs> panted Robin. I, I'm getting something, <clears throat> and it's stuck. Oh, here, I'll help you, Rosie said, and got hold of Robin. Now! Wow! Oh, help! Oh, 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 Robin! Oh, goodness gracious me! I never knew such a pair for falling over, laughed Grand Rowdy. Whatever have you got there? asked Christopher Cockle as he helped them up. It's that old wooden clothes horse, said Mrs Cockle. I said they could take it with them. <laughs> Mr Ship laughed. <laughs> it looks as if the clothes horse is a taking them. And whatever are you going to do with that old thing? asked Gran. Well, I thought we could make a tent and go camping on the dunes. Yes, explained Helen Cockle. Oh, and I've put an old sheet in the picnic basket for you to make the tent cover. Wow, said Rosie. What a great idea. Well, said Mr Cockle, if you can get your clothes horse to behave itself, we'd better get moving. Right, right said everyone. And off they went.
Come on, kids. Come on, Rosie, get a move on. I am. No, you're not. I'm pulling you. You are not. I am, yes, not. I am, yes, not, am. Um, no, you're not. I am. Oh, uh, oh, I, uh, oh. <laughs> Serves you right for arguing, you silly pair. <laughs> 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 I think we'd better stay here now. It's quite a nice sheltered spot anyway. I'll start getting things organized. Here, Zeke. Do you remember we always used to go egg rolling at Easter? War. So we did, so we did. Well, I've got some hard boiled eggs here somewhere. Here we go. Ho ho ho. Catch it now. Oh, I've got one. <laughs> Down they go! <laughs> oh, look at that now! <laughs> oh, quick, get it, Rosie! Oh, I've got one too! Oh, well done! <laughs> well done, shipmates! Well done! <laughs> oh, that was great, Gran. <laughs> you are a good shot, Gran. They have a, a, a wobbly roll, don't they? Eggs. <laughs> well. I have a bit of a wobbly roll myself. <laughs> oh, ah, that's cause you're shaped like an egg, Ezekiel Shipham. <laughs> Watch it. Dad, Robin said, can we, uh, can we poke our tent? <laughs> Not poke your tent, Robin. Pitch your tent. That's what you say. Oh, what does it mean, Daddy? Asked Rosie. Well, it, it just means putting the tent up. Mr. Cockle explained. Why? Why? Why what? Why do we say pitch? Oh, Rosie, I have no idea. Just do it. I'm going to put the deck chair up for Gran, and we're going to have a rest. Yes, come on, Rosie, said Robin. I've got the clothes horse, and here's the old sheet. Come on, then. said Robin. Yes, Rosie agreed. Come on, let's be Red Indians. Oh, Red Indians don't have tents like this, said Robin. They have ice cream cornet tents. Ice cream cornet tents, said Rosie. Like that. Oh, you mean a wigwam. Oh, yes. Never mind. Let's get in it. Oh, Robin, mind your elbows. Stop pushing. Well, move up then. Ah! Oh! 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 oh can't see. Oh! Can't see where I'm going. Oh, where are we? Oh! 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 oh, oh watch it out. I can't. Whatever Ouch. you two. Look out! Mind the sandwiches. Oh! oh. Careful, not over there. Oh. oh! What's happening? Oh! Help! I can't see. Oh, Robin! Ow! You're sticking your elbow in me again. Oh, dear. What a way to wake up. Goodness gracious me! Oh, whatever's going on? Oh, bless my barnacles. We've hit an iceberg. <laughs> oh, right, come on, said Mrs. Cockle. <laughs> Let's get you sorted out. And to start with, I'll have my tablecloth back. I wondered where it had gone. This is the old sheet. Oh, crumbs. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Dad. And at last, everything was untangled, and Mrs. Cockle said, Right now, would anyone like to start a picnic? Oh, oh yes, yes, please, please Mum, said Robin and Rosie, both together. We're starving. starving! And they all sat down to a picnic lunch. <laughs> <laughs>